You might as well go in and look. I don't suppose any law that says we have to take what we don't like, is it? Oh, I think you can at least pick and choose. Okay. What do we got to lose? The boy? You bet he is. Oh, he's beautiful. Thank you. Do you mind, honey? Have you ever applied for a child in any other home or agency? No. Who sent you to us? Mr. and Mrs. Pringle, Walter Pringle. Oh, yes, of course, Mr. and Mrs. Pringle. You'll probably want to use them for one of your references. One? You'll need at least three. Uh, father's occupation? Uh, with Kitty and Jack Moran, remember? Oh, yes, of course, how dull of me. Jack and Kitty Moran. I, I still don't seem to place you. What do you do? We've, We've been, been a... on the radio, and now we're going into television. Uh oh. What does that mean? Oh oh. Oh, there's nothing to worry about, really. It's just that we've had two or three rather unfortunate experiences with people from the stage, and Mrs. Johnston, that she there on the wall, Sarah Wilson was her mother. Well, she's a wonderful woman, but uh... she doesn't think that actors are parent material, is that it? Oh, there's no set rule. It all depends on the individual and the kind of program that you do. We have a comedy program. Yes, and we've also been known to sing and dance. Oh, I suppose I should be ashamed to admit it, but I never listen to programs like that. Squeaking doors, murder, that's the kind of thing I like. But just last night I was listening to this program. There was a detective. He was on a case. Oh, I forget what it was, but oh, it was thrilling. I don't know how they ever think up all those things, do you? It's one of the mysteries of the ages. Would it be possible for us to see the babies and perhaps give you an idea of what we'd like? Yeah. Oh, but there aren't any babies available at the moment, Mrs. Moran. It may take weeks, months. I've known some couples that have had to wait as much as a year. A year? Well, you should see our waiting list. Our trained workers have to make a thorough investigation of you first, of your, your character, your home, your general reliability. Oh, yes, before we're through, we'll know all about you, Mr. Moran. But don't worry. Hope everything's going to turn out just the way you want it. I'm sure it will. Thank you. And if anything turns up, we'll let you know. In the meanwhile, I'm certainly going to be watching for your program. Well, we ought to throw in a few squeaky doors first. <laughs> oh, that's all right, Mr. Moran. I suppose I deserve that. Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Gilbert. Thank you. Oh, not at all. Goodbye. Yes, thank you. It's been nice seeing you. Thanks. Say, do you realize what that woman said about us? Yes. I guess I should have married a truck driver. What's wrong with Agnes? I'd make a wonderful father. I think I'll go back and tell her a thing. Oh, I do. Jack, wait a minute. We want the baby, don't we? Well, sure we do, but why do they make cracks like that? Come on. What's wrong with theatrical people? I pay my taxes, don't I? Well, let them investigate me. When they want to run a benefit for this joint, the Shh. first people they call on are actors, aren't they? Shh. They don't no. ask a truck driver to drive his truck for nothing. I should say not. Well, all an actor's got is his talent, and he gives it to him for nothing. Well, the next time they want to run a benefit, let them put a truck driver on. See how much money they raise. Jack, you're attracting a crowd. Well, sure I am. That shows you I can do business any place. Hey, bud. What? What's wrong with truck drivers? Oh, <laughs> nothing. I, I think they're charming. Come on. 